Let's now talk about Google Vault. Google Vault is an information governance and e-discovery tool for Google Workspace that helps you manage, retain, search and export your organization's email and chat messages, as well as files in Google Drive. It also can be used to archive an organization's email messages and on-the-record chats, including Google Chat, Meet Recording and Associated Chat, Q&A and Pulse Logs, as well as messages from other Google Workspace apps, such as Google Groups and Classing Hangouts. Google Voice for Google Workspace text messages, voicemails and their transcripts and call logs can also be archived. Additionally, information on Google Sites can be retained. Google Vault ensures the safety and security of valuable organizational information while allowing for easy access to it when needed. Google Vault is a powerful tool designed to help organizations manage their data. It allows you to retain, hold, search and export your users' workspace data in a secure and efficient manner, reducing the risk of data loss and making it easier to comply with legal and regulatory requirements. The tool helps organizations to manage their email and chat messages, as well as files in Google Drive. With Google Vault, you can easily archive your organization's email messages and on-the-record chats. In order to use Vault, users must have a Google Workspace license and, additionally, a Vault license. Vault licenses are included in certain Google Workspace editions and can be added for Google Workspace business users. Licenses must be assigned to individual users in order for Vault to search and retain their data. With Google Vault, you can retain data for as long as you need it or remove data when you no longer need it. It can be done using Vault retention rules, an easy and effective way to centrally manage your organization's data. While Vault is not a data archive, when data is purged after a retention period ends, it can be recovered by specific users or admins. With the help of Vault, authorized users can easily search for data, put data on hold, and export it for further analysis. Vault supports the first steps of the e-discovery process outlined by the Electronic Discovery Reference Model, or EDRM, identification, preservation, and collection. Once data is searched and found, you can easily put data on hold and export it for further analysis. It is important to note that a data export is available in Vault for 15 days, then the export is deleted to protect that data. With Vault, you can search your organization's Google Workspace data by user account, by organizational unit, by date, or by keyword. Most services support Boolean operator searches. This allows you to easily identify relevant data that you may need for e-discovery. Additionally, Vault allows you to preview messages, attachments, and supported files before making an export. These features can save you time and help ensure you only export data that is relevant. Access control is necessary to ensure only authorized users have access to your organization's data, and Vault provides various mechanisms for controlling access to it. You can turn on Vault for selected organizational units and assign the organizational units to an admin role with Vault privileges. This ensures that only authorized users have access to your organization's data. Additionally, Vault provides complete audit logs of users' activity in Vault, including when a user creates or edits a retention rule, runs a search, or exports data. So, let's summarize the steps to get started with Google Vault. First thing to do is to purchase Vault licenses for Google Workspace if not included in your edition. The second one is to set up user access and Vault privileges. Then you need to set up default or custom retention rules, working with legal or compliance team to determine the most appropriate. And at the end, you can get started with Google Search and Export. Let's share an example. Here is vault.google.com. So let's go to retention, and here we have default rules. We have default rules about Gmail, Drive, Groups, Chat, Meet, and other applications. So let's create now a custom rule. Let's click on Custom Rules, Create, choose a service, for example, Gmail, click on Continue, choose an organizational unit, so Classroom LinkedIn Learning, let's click on Continue, let's 
choose conditions, so dates, terms, I want to find exfiltration, let's click on continue, and the duration in action. So I want to go back, click on back, I want to search from 1st of May 2024 till 11th May 2024. When I'm done, I can click on create.